Hello everyone. In this video we are going to look at an example of how you might generate some mock-up data that would kind of closely match your your needs using a lookup table. So what I mean by that is let's say I'm using a tool like this Mockero, Mockeroo website to generate some fictitious data. When I get to a city, it will generate cities from around the world, and I may not want that. I may want something more specific to my needs. So since I'm in the Seattle area, I might want certain cities around the Seattle area. And the way to do that is to generate a number. When you generate a number, you put in a range of values, and the website will generate a range of those values randomly. Then I can go ahead and create a SQL statement to create the table, staging table, and some insert data so that I can import that mock-up data into my database. The, the trick is you need to create the, the staging table and you need to insert the data. But you also need to create a lookup table and that's what this video is really about. In the lookup table you have a ID column that you'll use to match to the randomly generated data you're pulling in. And then you list out the, the cities, in this example, the cities, states, and zips, and they'll match the numbers. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and I have the various cities that I want. Uh, they will match up to the randomly generated cities that I got from the Makaroo website. So if I fill up the tables and I look at the data, I'll see that, yes, I have the patient city IDs. And if I look at the data in my static lookup table, I'll see that, yes, I have the same city IDs. So now the trick is to join the two tables together to get the actual IDs. And we join them on those lookup values. That's why they call this a lookup table. And so now I have more realistic cities for my fake data. You can use this technique for all kinds of situations and uh, hopefully you'll find it useful in your future. Thanks for watching.